Seen Italy polish shoes, then you know that the sports team is here. And of course, they're always in their suits looking all dapper here to talk about sports. A very important game. And um, well, uh, today we're going to be officially talking about the Black Stars and what to expect, um, expect actually, um, come the time they play, especially because the World Cup is starting officially on Sunday. So Thierry Nyan joins us this morning. My buddy, Hi, how you doing? I forgot to comb your hair. I did. I did. <laughs> it's just refusing to go down. So cousins. Uh, I will. Oh, Chenday. My Baba is traveled, so. I see. Yeah. Interesting. Well, how are you doing, though? I'm okay. Everything okay? Yeah. We're hugging you in spirit. In spirit. <laughs> but yesterday, the Black Stars played. Yes. We weren't sure if they were going to score or not. I, 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 you are even thinking of scoring. I was thinking of a bad result. And, oh. And forgive me. I mean, it's not, it's not that I am a naysayer, but I, I had seen the Black Stars play against Brazil, mm. a much better side. I had seen them play against Nicaragua. Yeah. Um, a side I thought we were going to thrash. Mm -hmm. It didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Their performance wasn't so great. And so going against Switzerland, and mind you, uh, for people who are not exactly football fans, mm -hmm. do not know, Switzerland are a very good team. I see. They are not your usual football powerhouse. They are not your Italy or your Germany or your yeah. England or Brazil. But they are a very but good they swing side. up surprises. They are ranked 14th in the world. Is it? Yes. And Ghana is the lowest rank going into the World Cup. Huh? Yes. We're number one. We are 61. We're the lowest ranked country. Yeah, going into the World Cup. So that is if you consider Iran, if you consider Saudi Arabia. If you consider so we're not the lowest then because they are They are countries. there. We are still the lowest ranked. They Iran are the is Cup. higher than us? Yes. But I mean, let, let's move away from that. Oh, no, no, no. Thank <laughs> but, you for that statistics because we needed to know. Back, back to the game. Yeah. So before the game, I, I didn't think that Ghana had a chance to win. I yeah. thought the best result was going to be a draw. Mm. And the first five minutes proved that Switzerland were all over the Black Stars. But afterwards, mm -hmm. when Ghana decided to play, yeah. when we took hold of the game, it was a different story. Yeah. I thought the first half gave us a, a, a few chances that mm. we could have taken the lead. Yeah. The penalty, for example, um, caused by the trickery of Banier. Mm -hmm. Now I can go into the players before I can even talk about the goals. I think yesterday gave us a very good reminder of what it would mean um, you know, for us going into the World mm. Cup. And I'll just use a, a minute to, 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 to summarize my thoughts. All right. I think we know now that Lawrence Atiz Atizigi is going to be our first choice goalkeeper. Okay. Um, for Tuado to keep faith with him, the entire final trial match yeah. told a story. What I thought was sad was the benching of Alexander Juku, who's been our best player across mm. the pitch in the mm. last few games this mm. year. He was benched because Salisu and Amate obviously are stalwarts and, you know, very few complaints there. But Jiku deserves a spot. Yeah. And I, I thought there was going to be a way he was going to be on the pitch. But mm. unfortunately, no. There was an interesting midfield pairing of uh, Samet Salis mm -hmm. and then Elisha Owusu. And I think that also Ghanaians would have a sneak peek of what Otuado would like to do if Pate isn't around. Okay. Because obviously Pate is going to start yeah. the game. I think we should see more of um, the, the, the fair guy. Daniel Kofi Chai. Okay. I think okay. that I think that he is every time he he plays for the Black Stars, he adds a different dimension to us. Mm. Um, his creativity and the way he finds players. Mm. I mean, he created the first goal with a, with a corner kick, and yeah. it's not just that. It's also how he found himself in very interesting positions. The way he will pick passes, it was really great. We've also seen very good signs from Inaki Williams. I think that in all, the Black Stars are looking good going to the World Cup. People should not be people should not get carried away. Hmm, by a with, performance yesterday. With, with the results. Yeah. Because the Swiss also, knowing that the, the World Cup is just a few days away, would not be playing Play in their first best gear. Players, yeah. They will not be playing in exactly. first gear. So that's, so that's where we need to you know, pull the brakes and understand that we are, we are playing a very, against a very good side. We beat them. It builds the confidence. But it doesn't mean you, you go into the World Cup thinking you beat Complacent. everyone, including Portugal. Did we use our best side as a, against Swiss's Second best, maybe. Uh, no, Switzerland actually came they out with... They used their best they as used, well. They used... Okay. I, I would say it's about 90% of their best squad. Oh, I see. For Ghana, I would say it's about 70, 65% of our best of squad. Of our best. Because then you didn't have your first choice goalkeeper because he's injured. Yeah. Um, you didn't have Thomas Partey. He was available. He was on the bench. Okay. Mohamed Kudus didn't start. He was on the bench. Okay. Um, th there are a couple of very good players that, that, that play. could have started okay. that, that were on the bench. So. All right. Well, Julia Bewa will join us from Qatar as well shortly. But we're officially unveiling our pundits for the... Um, World Cup here at TV3 because as you already heard, we'll be showing it live on TV and as we show it, we'll also have people 
who have in-depth knowledge on sports to share their concerns, their opinions, their views about um, the various games that will be played. So let's officially take a look at that and we'll have them join us on set. Catch the 2022 FIFA World Cup live on TV3. Don't just watch it, feel it. Catch the 2022 FIFA World Cup live on TV3. Don't just watch it, feel it. <laughs> 